Hey guys, welcome back. I'm probably just gonna be talking to people for the next fucking 25 minutes or something, so yeah. Have the fun. The Council to save their lives, and for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth, and the Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. I should go. I'll be here. Alright, well, you know, we're under attack by the Reapers, but yet my sniper rifle still cost me money. You know, you would really help Earth right now? Give me that Black Widow sniper, man. Earth needs that. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> If that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. 
I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. And when Palin resisted, um, I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Alright. I, I warned you guys. We a shit ton of talking in this episode. Guys. Literally everything. Hello, dear. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for my son. But we spoke about this already. I told you about his mission and... Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Only... He hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am, but... The notes on his file state he's not under a contact ban. Oh, you already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go quiet for so long. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. Thank you. You're such a nice young woman. You know, you remind me of my daughter-in-law. Your son is dead. Oh, Jesus. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard. Kalisa Bint seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect? I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Not this time, you military- Ugh! You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth, not answer your questions. Stay down. Man, that was such fucking garbage. Not this time, you military thug. Hey, what's James doing here? Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this 
than face the truth. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall, one by one, if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... Bud, you were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. I actually really don't want to do that. Alright, I guess we're gonna go to whatever the hospital place. Welcome, Commander Shell. One moment. Shortest loading screens in the universe. Thank Hello, God for SSDs. Swifta Memorial Hospital. Oh, uh, Dr. Chuckwuffs and Dr. Michelle and Ashley are here. Awesome. Welcome to Serta. Well, I'm not gonna need that. Flowers. Candy. Serta is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. We are not reading. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes. Though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Keep doing what you're doing with Alliance R&D. We need our best minds at work, giving us every advantage possible. I'm a field doctor, Commander, not a research scientist. Eden Prime, the Battle of the Citadel, defeating the Collectors. We've been through too much together to let it end now. Let me serve on the Normandy. Please, Commander. Does this matter? I wonder if it does. All right, bringing her along uh, means we lose some war assets, uh, but it's like, Almost nothing, so fuck it. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. So the other doctor you saw, which was like Dr. Michael or whatever, she would be the one that would come aboard instead. Yeah, this one. Michelle, sorry, not Michael. Uh, but since, uh, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How's Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. I'm afraid I'll have to speak with CSEC about securing our supplies. Desperate people can do desperate things. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Yeah, we we don't we don't need her. It's fine. I prefer Chuck Wells. Fuck. Patient stable for 
registration bindings. Meet you back here. Painkillers, Lieutenant. This is the smallest hospital ever. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. I'd be worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. You hang in there, all right? I need you up and reporting for duty ASAP. You hear me, soldier? You need anything, Doc. Let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. Um, okay. She didn't say anything to me. Fuck, you could just skip that. <laughs> Fucking optional quest storyline. Dude, this is the smallest hospital I've ever seen. There's more doctors than there's patients. Alright, fine. Back to the Normandy. Done with this smelly place. Citadel's a silly place. Oh my god. Can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard. I do not want to talk to this fucking person. Oh god. It's so fucking What's going on here. Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. No. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience, but that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. No way. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? I cannot handle those chipmunk cheeks. You're a reporter. I command a stealth ship. The two don't mix. Well, I guess you'll have to win support on your own then. Happily. I would rather be Reaper food than have you on my ship, I'm sorry. Oh my god. I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> Check what you're looking kind of hot today. <sighs> Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? The Reapers are here, now. And the Council, the other races, 
are only interested in looking after themselves. How many civilians are dying while they wait for us to make the first move? At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. They'll come around. They've got to. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. I need the Normandy functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard. Some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, ...attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Good shit. Is there a microwave here? Yeah, definitely a microwave. Uh, a little random person inside the room here. What's in here? Uh, so here's your war assets. So, uh... This should be basically all doubled. I think it's doubled. If you give me a second, I'll see if it's doubled. Yep, they are doubled. So this would actually be like halved right now if I didn't do this. 
Uh, obviously, we're doing everything as much as we can, though. So, uh, but I'm just telling you, that's kind of how it works right now. Stim offline. Yeah, it gives you galactic readiness. Things like that. All right. So, pretty good. So this used to be the old, uh, uh, the old lab. Guess we don't have that anymore. Is this the old comm room? Yeah, it's the old comm room. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thestia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you could be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. I kind of have to, like, step through. Just have to listen to these two fuckers talk. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Oh, good. I guess, uh, I guess Jacob's dead. Good. Just what we wanted. He had some deep-seated issues. I wonder how, uh, Joker's doing. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. <laughs> Commander. Oh. Why don't you tell me about his bone disease again? Fuck. Well, they've remodded the ship slightly, and now it's uh, darker and more red. Thank you. What the fuck? It was like an Apple fucking private terminal. Like there's only two buttons on it. Training videos. Uh, I, I I think I need this one. Everyone everyone keeps complaining how I never use my squad's abilities. For increased tactical control. Okay, I, I actually don't want to see this. Oh my god, you can't skip it once you're in. This pauses the action. Giving Fuck. you time to evaluate the battlefield, target new enemies, I'll be and punished for power. memeing. <laughs> Alright, never opening that again. Uh, let's look at my email. Alright. Um, so, uh, something about the uh, server's lab. Now, I'm not entirely sure of the order of doing things. I know some of the DLCs will wait until the end. Um, it's just an emergency alert. My dog. I left my dog mech on board. Okay. I, I, I would love that. Aquarians are doing stuff. So I'm not sure of how long everything will take, but we'll see. There's an upgrade. A research upgrade, all right, we can check that out too. And there's some shit about Eden Prime, all right. Uh, I don't know how much more we want to do here. Eh, we can do a little bit more. We'll go to the crew deck. Talk to, talk to Dr. Shakwas. Like I said, I, I don't have to make any tough decisions really since, since the war, uh, everything is worth so much. Because I actually would have wanted to bring Chakwas along. I mean, she's been with us in the previous couple games, you know. Just kind of made sense. Reassign powers. Reassign power bonuses. Ah, uh, there's none. Re wait, companions with... Conversation with your companions unlock power, right? Commander? Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time, if I may. I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Have I ever told you I don't like doctors? Don't be such a grouch. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Your system is still detecting the implants as foreign bodies. There's no health risk, but your scars are having trouble healing. I recommend reducing stress levels. Be compassionate. I'm giving everything I got, Doc. 
I'm just saying, a little more optimism and a little less realism could help, Commander. Anyway, it's just a cosmetic issue. Nothing to worry about. That's it. You're the picture of health. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you are all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Nice. Oh, uh, I mean, you know about the food. No guns and no... I don't know what the fuck that is. And these are the coffins that people sleep in. Ah, yes. Of course, the calibrations. We, we need to know where the calibrations room was. Uh, I guess we'll just uh, run over here. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Brokers ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Oh fuck. Spooky. Well, huh? It was less than ideal. Yeah, that's a shocker. Whole worlds are being lost to the Reapers. What more will it take? Who knows? Hell, maybe the Council's just taking petty revenge for Shepard hanging up on them all those years ago. Wait, Shepard did what? Oh, sorry, I think we're going through some dark matter. Hello? Ah, oh, that's fucking funny. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. We can figure out what it does later. Our priority is getting it built. Just give me some warning before you flip the switch. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. I was getting worried. There were a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list. But later? There's so much left to do. I'm working with Edie. Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? Fucking nerd. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Alright, so these are non-essential, so... Basically, we're never looking at this again. Uh, alright, so... Upgrades, none. Armor mod kit. 
Farina uh, has persuaded his contacts to ship a, a mod, uh, armor and a mod count to Normandy, technically illegal in civil space. The kit's Omni Gel Converter can make a one time modification to my armor, improving shield strength or adding thermal clip compartments. That's a very tough choice. So we're gonna upgrade the shields. I think I'm gonna have enough ammo. I'd rather, because you know what, the the more the more shields we have, the less med kits we use, and that's the more experience. All right, that's that's how we're looking at it. Please enjoy your day. Yeah, fuck off. Um. So now now there's the wall. I guess this is where Thane would be, and there's something here. What the hell is this? Model of the Destiny Ascension, okay. This is all the shit I left around in the last game. Which bathroom is this one? The men's, okay. Well, we know where we're going after this. Now oh, we can go play some poker. That's Alliance uh, start issue, alright. I'm, I'm not gonna judge. Oh, shit. They added security. Fuck. We lost. Hey, can you help me in? Oh, alright. They have gendered bathrooms. What is this? The past? Fuck. Alright, and uh, this is where Samara would be, but Samara's dead. I guess the one last thing we'll do before we continue is, uh, I think I can change my armor up here. Yeah, I can. Um, alright. I can get a health boost with the N7 armor. Whoa. N7 breather helmet. I don't really want any of these helmets, to be honest. Cast of fabrication. Nothing here. I mean, I could just, I could just take the helmet, right? Because he'll have it off most of the time. I mean, you you actually have that option, I think. Uh, this is what something technical. Oh, melee damage, sure, we'll take that. Uh, legs. Well, I have N seven legs. It's fine. All right, we need to. Um, we need we need the green armor. The fuck. There you go. That's very Yoshi-like. There you go. Lights. Yeah, green. Okay. There you go. And casual. Uh, kind of like the jumper suit. A yeah, jumper suit seems okay. I mean, we could actually change our entire armor set to like. Oh my god! What happened to my helmet? Uh, and some defender. You can change it to some other stuff. It's probably some fucking game that they were promoting. Cerberus Ajax armor. Ironically, the best looking armor, I think, but whatever. We're gonna stay with this one, I think. I don't really need the health boost, I won't lie. So maybe I should take the N7 Defender, actually. And yeah, we'll do that. So, one of the options that we have here, I'm pretty sure, is narrative. Say, Shepard's helmet. Default, it's equipped in most circumstances. Off in conversations, and that's it. I'm just gonna say off in conversations, I guess. And squad mates helmets are default off, default on, off in conversations. I guess we'll say default off. I don't know. And obviously, if if the if the conversation mode is uh, too difficult for you, you can turn that off too. You know, just because. Uh, I don't think there's anything else really interesting. I I like the fact they added that to this game. Fucking weird, man. Anyways, yeah. So we're gonna we're just gonna until we get some better gear, we're gonna have that. Oh wait, wait. Review squad. There's only oh we can cycle their appearances though. Holy fucking shit. Iron man. <laughs> now he's got a monocle. Alright, we're gonna give him the monocle. That's that's it's decided. Alright, Liara can uh, her stuff is okay. I like the red one though. That one looks pretty cool. So you can change some stuff. Oh dude, the bathroom still exists. Glad they never got rid of that. Now there's a cabinet here. All right, well, let's go down to engineering. But I think I gotta end it off here, guys, because reasons, so. Uh, take care, everyone, goodbye. We'll finish up real fast.